interrupt your playtime, Grumpy, but wouldn't you prefer a challenge? That wouldn't be you. <laughs> Fuck. We're back here again. But why? Why would you do that? Alright, let's get this shit over with. This episode continues directly from the last, where we see Anakin and Ahsoka preparing Rex in a small squad, along with R3 looking to infiltrate Grievous' listening post to get R2 back. After R2 was able to transmit his location across the galaxy before being dismantled by Grievous and Ganact, the latter of which is later killed by Grievous for demanding compensation for his efforts. Anakin and the group manage to get in undetected, and he splits from the rest of them, leaving Ahsoka to lead Rex, R3 and the others to try and find a way to destroy the outpost. R3 triggers the internal alarm alerting Grievous of the infiltration, and he goes to confront Ahsoka and the clones. Grievous easily dispatches of them bar Rex, Denal and Ahsoka, who must engage in combat with him to protect Rex. Anakin manages to retrieve R2, but Ahsoka is pinned down and hiding from Grievous, until R3 gives her away and she hides once more. Bastard! This is where Ahsoka discovers R3 is a spy, and tries to get a warning out to Rex and Anakin, but Grievous catches her and she only manages to escape when Rex starts blowing parts of the outpost. Anakin makes it back to the hangar where Rex returns to with the remaining men, and quickly discover R3's position in all this. Then cue a battle in the hangar, and R2 being sent to unlock the hangar doors from the outside, while R3 tracks him down and tries to stop him. Not a great plan. R2 manages to help his friends escape and jettisons off with them, but not before he manages to destroy R3 in the most satisfying way possible. Another day, another Doug. This one was obviously a little more enjoyable than part one, but still lacked any of the magic that made Clone Wars so special. The animation wasn't any more improved than the last, but at least held itself together, almost like Lego models being built with tape. The battle sequences were at least a little better in their structure, and it was impressive to see Ahsoka go up against someone like Grievous, so early in her life as a Jedi. The focus was again on Anakin's attachment, but it came from a place of love and duty, which isn't a teaching that the Jedi support, but it helped his efforts in being able to retrieve R2, and it adds an emotional stake to the situation when you think about how much Anakin cares in this one moment, and if this is the lengths he'll go to to protect a droid, what will he do for everyone else? Well, we get an idea of what he winds up doing. Grievous, believe it or not, did actually feel like a genuine threat in this one, like someone running from a horror movie villain. He was matched by Ahsoka, but she certainly struggled, having to stay duck and cover from him for most of their fight. R3 was certainly one of the more irritating villains from this series, but effective in the sense that he managed to distance everyone at multiple points, and create a divide between droids and the Republic going forward, with this becoming more of a bias for why the clones and Jedi alike struggle to get on with a lot of droids throughout the series. The valour of the clones in this instance has always been overlooked in my opinion. One of the few merits to come out of this one is the relationship between Rex and Ahsoka, subtly receiving some progression in itself for their bond is steadily explored throughout the rest of the series, and later in Rebels. The loyalty they showed to her in this moment was awesome, and as usual, it's these little nuances that make this show so special for me. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, let me know how you felt about this arc in the comments down below, and subscribe on your way out for more content down the line. Until then though, take care, and may the Force be with you.